hello everyone it's been a while since i have made a video so i wanted to share um, just an update on some of on one of the journals i'm using i will record a different video with the other my like my journaling and planner setup how it's um shaping out now that we are in uh, february or march actually so this is a journal that i printed myself and i've learned a lot of things already about what to do differently for next year and i have some ideas about how to improve it uh, one of the first things that i will change is that i will put my name uh, somewhere in the book and also add a copyright page and information about where people can find me that's something that i didn't add so there's a few i have a few journals left on my etsy shop I don't have any that are as big as this one. This is an eight and a half by 11. But I do have two of these paperbacks and then I have four of um, these spiral bound um, seven by nine, I believe is the size. So I'll put a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in um, getting one of these journals before they're gone. Um, I'm not going to be printing them again until late in the year when I come up, come out with the 2024 version. So I do want to do a flip through of what I have done um, for the last two months. Um, the journal has a page for you to write a letter for yourself as well as to write your intentions for the year. It has a page for a vision board. Mine is a work in progress. I haven't felt moved to uh, complete it yet. So I'm adding little things here and there. Um, then it has some information about how to create a ritual and a sacred space for your creativity. Then we get into the monthly pages. So this is the January page. There's a space for you to write about the date and sign of the new moon as well as the full moon. And um, you can set your intentions for the month. There's a spot for you to write astrological transits if that's something that you are um, interested in. And then there's a lot of empty space for you to decorate, put stickers, washi tape, quotes, doodles, all of that good stuff. Then each month also has a monthly communing with the muse page. If you read cards like I do, then you can use cards to do this. Um, you could also do um, bibliomancy or other kinds of symbols and ways of getting messages, uh, even if it's just quotes as well. <clears throat> so um, there's also different monthly spreads. This was the January one, choosing your seeds. Then there's a tracker for you to track um, whatever you want to track. So in January... I was tracking a no buy month. So every day I just wrote a little message about um, the troubles of resisting buying urges. And then this is the moon cycle phenology wheel and it has the major faces of the moon um so you can doodle you can do some journaling whatever you feel like doing for that particular phase there's also a spot for you to take notes um, if you want to do a traditional phenology wheel then maybe you are you pick something out in nature that you are going to track and just like draw a picture of a flower or a weed or a tree and just record how it's changing throughout the month there's also the open the door to curiosity, which is a place for you to write down different things and topics that you're interested in. So um, <clears throat> like I have here um, in January and before January, but just wrote it here. I was interested in learning more about healing justice, uh, creating a writing practice. Um, I was interested in the record books by Carrie Smith. Um, I'm also really interested in meeting the spirits of the land where I live. And I wrote that this was a long-term practice. Um, 
right that right here I, I wrote that I listen to two podcasts but there's another page for you to do that so in those podcasts one of them mentioned the power of aid groups um, intention setting bullet journaling junk journaling so it's just a place for you to write things that you want to come back to later on and this is also another uh, space where you can um, just continue to add things or if you already searched for one of the things that you were curious about you can um, write notes about what you found so I started using these little sticky notes um, that are like file tabs um, and I moved them to the February page the self-portrait it's always such a hard page. <laughs> so I was practicing a one line face drawings. So I'm, I'm not very good at it. But in the past I have taken pictures and put them in here because I, I rarely take pictures of myself. And then there's the gratitude practice page. Um, this is just a place for you to make lists of things that you enjoy doing when you feel stuck or you feel down. Um, then there's the dream repository page. Um, I try to write down little snippets of my dreams when I remember them and um, I actually I want to figure out how to improve this practice because um, my journal is not in my room so by the time I get to the journal at the end of the day I already forgot a lot of things there's a space to do to write new ideas and I use this little sticky notes because I needed more pages more space for January then there's this space for psychic observations. I use this for things where I feel like my intuition gave me information, signs and symbols that I see out in the uh, street, like if I saw a bird or an animal. If I see like recurring things like um, in January, um, the poem Mending Wall, I heard about it in one of the books I was hearing, listening to, and then I saw it again um, on my commute. So that uh, brought it up to the top of to the surface of my consciousness so I went to look for it and actually I pasted it in here I'm having to do this one-handed because I have the baby um, so I, I went to get the the poem Mending Wall by Robert Frost and I read it and I pasted it in here and I wrote a little bit about where I heard it um, what I thought about it, how it made me feel. It's a really great poem. I highly recommend listening to it, especially right now. Um, then there's a space to write and the ways that abundance is showing up in your life. And here I have, um, this is a page where I keep track of the different things that I'm reading, watching, listening, and experiencing. So I'll write down like podcasts, videos, shows, movies, all that stuff and then um, my weekly check-ins have been um, not as um, decorative as they as I used to make them in uh, last year but they've still been working for me um, sometimes I don't get to go back and do the review sometimes I do so that was the January part. Oh, and before we end, so there's four weeks, uh, weekly check-ins for you to reflect on your week. And then there's um, creative interpretation. I tried a mind map of all the things that came up for me in January. And I wanted to like color it in and um, just do a little bit more with it. But I, I was happy with how it turned out. Then there's a space for you to write uh, reflections for the end of the month. So with the journal, I kind of tried to make it a creative journal, but also a writing journal. So there's a lot of space for both because those are the two, two of the practices that I am trying to nurture. So we move into the February pages and in, I don't think I added these in January, but this little calendar is from a Hay House um, tear out calendar that I got um, last year so it looks like this and um, I save those pictures for collages and sometimes I will paste them in here so my intentions for February was that I really wanted to start nurturing a writing practice so I wanted to commit to writing for 30 minutes each day 
originally i wanted to do an hour but i could only do 30 minutes um so i wrote about that then i wrote a quote that i had here i tried to do a little bit more of like mark making um then we move into the spread the communing with the muse spread um i pasted some crayola stickers that i had laying around i haven't done the creativity and the self spread um in february i didn't feel very called to work with my card so i'm going to save it for uh, for later i have this bookmark from the moon is my calendar a different journal that i use that i'll talk about later um i have haven't filled out the rest of my tracking but basically every time i journaled or wrote um i i kept track of what kind of writing i was doing mostly i do journaling i tried doing creative writing so i wrote a short story or the beginning of a short story i also um, did some reflective writing on like specific topics i that were on my mind um then the other part that um was really important to me was this part about the monthly allies and symbols um but i noticed that in february i didn't really pay a lot of attention to the symbols that were coming up for me but it has that space then my um no more phenology wheel uh sometimes if i have the colors around me like color pencils markers then the journal will end up looking more um colorful but other times i just don't feel like i don't have a lot of time to spend um decorating and that's okay too that's one of the things i have been learning is that um i'm more of a functional planner nuts or minimalist when it comes to decorations but i think it it fluctuates and it's okay if you become more interested in uh, more colors later okay so then um at the beginning of the month i noticed that i wasn't really writing a lot of my curiosity like questions and things that i was interested in so i started to pay more attention um to those things and here's me trying the self portraits i really want to learn to draw faces or just other kinds of like even if it's cartoony faces um Faces are very hard to draw, by the way. So this month, I was also reflecting on some of the pages that maybe could be combined for next year's edition. Like I'm thinking the abund the gratitude practice and the abundance page could be one. And um, I'm thinking of changing psychic observations to be a mixture of um, psychic observations, intuition, prayer, um, uh, prayers like a record keeping or a place for you to write a prayer I still did the abundance space um, this is where it started to get confusing with the gratitude space because when I came to the page I would say I'm grateful for this I'm grateful for that so then I realized that they were very um, in my mind they're very connected um, <clears throat> I wrote things about or the different videos that I was watching I watched a lot of the quotidian writer youtube videos we finished watching suits i really like that show actually i was surprised started watching french for the second time um i got halfway through an audiobook that i hope to buy <laughs> and then i also um, started listening to the audiobook acedia and me um, I want to do more with this page because I want to have a space or find a way to write reflections on all the things that I'm listening to. So I'm not sure how I will do that, but that's something that I would like to expand on for the next, um, next year's journal. So this week or this month, the weekly check-ins were not, um, I didn't do them as much. So, and that's okay i have the space here if i want to this is my end of the month reflection i ended up writing a, writing a little poem and then my reflections 
So I want to show you how I set up the March journal. Um, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> 